Ultima Online? That, 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 that must be me. Is there actually a YouTube video of me PvPing back in the days? Let me see if that's me. No, that's not. Wait. No, that's not me. Wait, am I a Dexter in this? No, I'm a, I am a Dexter. This is not how I looked. Why would someone use my name though? Legend, I guess. Not me. Also, I, I almost never died, just so you know, and um, I see him being a ghost, like literally I only died like in the game Ultima Online, I died like once, once a month or something, and I was always with lags, lag spikes, if I didn't lag, I just didn't die, I'm actually serious by the way. I wiped entire guilds of 50 players by myself. Yeah, it's not me. I'm not making this up, by the way. Ultima Online was the best game I ever played. And if I would say, what game did I excel at the most was Ultima Online. I literally was a god in that game. Like, really, I was, if you guys think I was good at WoW, like, no. Ultima Online, I was on another level. Like, that was really, like, it was crazy. And also, I came with so much crazy meta. Like, always new meta. Always. It was really, like, whenever Ultima Online came with a new patch, people said, like, Athena will fucking, like, Athena will, will uh, that was my name, then it would just ruin. Like, man, I remember the fucking... The guy that you could run, what was it, like the, the Bushido uh, dog form or something like that. And, and I just, you know, I was in that dog form because you could be in that dog form because you had uh, bolas. I think it's bolas or what was it? Where you throw something and you, sh you, you hit someone out of their horse, right? But you, you have to be off your mount in order to do it. But the problem is if you go off your mount, the other person is already gone. And if it's too far, your bola doesn't drop them from the mount. So when they came with, with that dog form, I figured out that you could throw bolas with this dog form. So I had a complete build only to dismount people. And then I had my other players gank them. Because once you're dismounted, you're pretty much dead in Ultima Online. So yeah. And it's not just that, there was, there was other, like I was also the first, like the, the, the build that guy is playing, right? He's playing a build, Zapatos, in that video. I created that build. When I came back to Ultima Online, uh, it was like five or six years ago, I came back there to see, you know, like people were like, oh, Athena is, uh, Athena is back. And they were like, yeah, the guy's just gonna suck anyway, because it's so long ago, the entire game has been balanced. I came back literally within a few days. I figured out a new build 
which was a tamer dexter like with Tamer Dexter, it's just basically you had taming and you had, what is it, animal lore or something? I don't fucking know. But you don't have the other abilities. So you can have a, uh, you can have an animal, right? But you can't heal him and you can't resurrect him. So a lot of people thought like, yeah, if you want to go for a Tamer, which is, you know, like super strong, by the way, but you can outrun the, the, the pet, um, then you need all the abilities for taming. But what I did is I removed all the taming abilities, only took the ones that allowed you to have a pet and basically had also Dexter abilities. So I was whacking at someone and then you could actually summon. They had like summon crystals for your pet. So then I summoned my dragon and I just have the dragon kill the guy. And it was so fucking OP. And then when it died, when my dragon died, I, I went to my guild house and had guild members resurrect them. The, the 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 dragon and then put them back into the crystal just saying like giving you guys a little bit maybe i shouldn't be ranting about about ultima online but man it was so fun it was so much fun it's the it's the most fun i've had in my life when it comes down to gaming like there is literally there is nothing in my life that has come even close to the fun i've had with playing ultima online nothing Literally nothing. Like really, World of Warcraft, honestly, it's a complete joke compared to Ultima Online. Ultima Online, like you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta imagine, right? A game where skill really matters and you get penalized for 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 sucking and be a thing. I mean like I understand for other people it might not have been as fun, but for me it was a blast. I was destroying people. I was destroying people. It was so... It was so fun. Yeah, like man, if you if you if you died in Ultima Online, you punch the wall. Because like the thing is in Ultima Online, man, I can give you guys a rundown on Ultima Online, but why should I even? Like it's really back in the days Ultima Online, really there was Felucia and Trammel. It's two different. Like Trammel came afterwards. It was for noobs. And Felucia, you had PKs. PKs were player killers. And the thing is, when you become a PK, you become red. And all the way back in the, te the days, when you died as a PK, you lose all your stats as well. You're, you're, it's like playing World of Warcraft, right? And you're a PK. Well, when you're a PK and you die and you're level 60, you go back to down to level 20. And you go to level all the way back to level 60. That was how harsh it is. And imagine you got to go and raid and all that shit to get your loot. Well, you drop all your gear too. So your character is dead. It's almost like, you know, like, like Diablo hardcore, except, you know, you, you, you still have your character and you can level him back up. That was, you know, back, back, back in the days. And these gear sets sold for thousands and thousands of dollars. Like you die, you, you burn shit tons of money. Either way. Then they introduced Trammel and they also introduced the ability to insure your gear and you didn't lose your stats. And I honestly, I liked that change because losing your stats, it was just, it was lame. I didn't like the, many PKs, really good players just quit once they died. Either way, when they did that, like I became a PK myself, I ran my own PK guild. And basically there was a, a power scrolls, a feature only in the PK territory. And I ran my, my own mafia. And, and, and since these scrolls were so powerful to upgrade your, your character, if people wanted to do these champions, because you had to go and, and do a PvE event, but we, like, I had a script with ghosts on all the altars to track if anyone was doing uh, these, uh, these, these, these champions. And if they did, uh, the, the guild was getting a warning. I coded all of it. And then we went and raided them and, and, and slaughtered them all. And, and grab the loot. So we always came at the last moment and just killed them all, killed the boss, grabbed the loot. And I had a, and I, and I sold all the scrolls and I shared the, the gold 
that that they earned uh, amongst the players that attended the raid to kill the players. And it was a very, very successful guild. Um, but people hated us. But uh, what then ended up happening was like, you want to do your raid. You can only do your raid if you pay your cut to the mafia. So every every guild on the server had to pay us half uh, if they wanted to do a champion. And then we protected them. So if other PK guilds came, we protected them so to, 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 to allow them... Uh, well, no, it was not a bully because there was other there was other guilds also attacking and stuff like you either pay our protection or you 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 get fucked. And the thing is, we were so dominant and so organized that you know, like it was really the elite of the elite. Like they only the best players could join my guild. And you guys know how min maxer I am. Like I went even further. Where, where I had uh, macros for the guild that self-healed each other and stuff. I went really, really fucking far. Man, that game, the, how far I took it, it's just ridiculous. L -l ridiculous. So yeah, like, there was people from Japan, because, like, literally from Japan servers, because you had servers all over the world, that came to Europe to check if the legend was real. Because they couldn't believe that it was real, that I, that I was a real person, because I was so known in the Ultima Online community, because I was really like the guy never dies, kills entire guilds of hundred players, doesn't matter. It's almost like you don't believe it. There was literally entire guilds that were made just to kill me once. Because all the people that were they were so mad, they were so pissed, and they started organizing themselves to try and kill me. They, they couldn't. That is really like the epi the epitome of my game like yeah the game fun times I, I have nothing compared to that. You could make alliance with other guilds, but we didn't. What we were like we did once do an alliance. We did do once do an alliance. We did do once do an alliance because there is also Harrower, which is a very big boss. And um what what happened again? There was something... Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I remember. Basically, uh, we did an event to raise money for a charity. And we decided to, uh, to sell the, the scrolls for, uh, for charity. And, 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 and basically, normally, Harrower, the way you do it, is you do it secretly in the night. You do it very quick and they have to find it. Because if the servers knew that we were doing a harrower, they would all just raid us. And there is no way you can stop them a little bit for a little while. But once they break through the lines, you, like, I mean, we were, we were a guild of like, what is it, 40 people? You cannot beat thousands of players. So like, the only way we could do the harrower bus by rushing it, by really doing it very quick. And I remember doing a pet trick with five, like, I don't know, Aussies or something, whatever. Either way, like, we, we then wanted to do a big event and we, um, we basically united with other PKs, guilds, and we got backstabbed. Like there was one PK guild that, uh, that said like, yeah, we will uh, also do the charity event with you guys. And we were then protecting, right? While we were doing the horror for, for charity. And then they attacked us because they were part of our, like they attacked us from the back and they were co coordinating with other players. And then what we managed to do is, we, we very quickly, what we then did was we very quickly went to our alts because we were a PK guild. But as a PK, you're a red character. Everybody can attack you and you then die. But as a green character, you basically, uh, you, you, you are a good person. And if you attack a green character as a green character, you become gray and then everybody can kill you for free. So like everybody came with their greens, their alts, uh, all these like they, they basically treason man treason for charity so what i what we did basically we went for our alts we came with our greens we killed all the pks that did treason and then we we, we came back with our red ones and we still managed to kill the boss ourselves how crazy was that that was i think that was the craziest event ever because there was so much players and we still managed to turn it around because yeah, I remember what I did because I relogged my non-PK hero 
Like what I what I did was the next strategy. I said like, you know what? Because I was on Ventrilo back then, it was Ventrilo. I said like, I'm gonna go on my main character because my PK was not my main. My PK was called Chiron. My non PK was called Athena. I said I'm gonna go on Athena, and I will come. And they will attack me because they hate me. Because if I get to attack the boss, I get loot as well. So and you guys also come all with your greens. So what I did was we came with our entire green. The, the green, so the non PK version. And now what happened is like I came, they attack me, they become gray, and they started killing each other. Because it's almost like, you know, like they're not organized. It's like they see a gray guy, they kill him. So I came there, I came there as, 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 as green, turned them gray, turned them against each other, had my own guild pick up one by one, and once we started killing them all, we got back to our PKs and cleaned up and killed the boss. That was such an amazing time. It was such a, it was strategizing. We literally took out the entire server because there was, there was hundreds of players, like maybe a thousand players. We killed them all. This was 20 years ago. It's the best time in, in my life in terms of gaming. Like, honestly, I'm not even making this shit up. When I say it's the best time, it, it, it was the best time. It was the best time. It was the best time. Never, man, did I... Uh... I don't have footage. Back in the days, you couldn't even record your screen. Like, there was a software you could do it with, but it lacked shit like crazy. But yeah. How's the refugee going, doing? She's actually doing really well. Uh, she's probably gonna uh, find another place. Closer to Berlin. Fraps. That was the software. Fraps. I had screenshots. I had screenshots. That's what I had, screenshots. But like, I can tell you guys, like, because also with the, the bolas, right? The balls, I, I'll tell you guys about that. The bola was something you threw to dismount a player. Dismounted players were in a big disadvantage. So you dismount a player, then you kill the pet, and then you kill the guy. That was the strategy, pretty much. But now, when someone throws a, a bola, it, like, there is text on the screen saying, this guy threw a bola, and then the bola comes towards you, right? So... And then once it hits you, it dismounts you. So, and when you're dismounted, you cannot get back on your mount. So what I did was I wrote a script that basically, first of all, like, and I created this meta from the get-go. Like when people threw an Ebola, I dismounted myself the moment before it hits me, then the Ebola doesn't do it. And then I can re-equip my pet, right? Do you guys get me? So like, like the, the ball is about to hit me, I go out of my pet, and then I re-equip my pet immediately. So what I then ended up doing, because when I started doing it, other players started doing it as well. They, they learned the strategy from me. So what I then ended up starting doing is like, like, like you could basically write the text. So I just set the text as if in, 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 in curse, curse with uh, the, the symbols. And with the colors, I, I basically made it so that I sent the message. I threw an Ebola, uh, not an Ebola, a Ebola. They dismounted, but it was not the real Ebola. Because it was just me saying the text. And then when they came back on the pet, I threw my real Ebola. <laughs> they was really like, man, like the strats, man, the strats. The good old days. Always a step ahead. I did a talk macro that mimics the bolas, yes. Yes. Yeah, you are assist. You are assist, man. I was coding, but everybody was using you assist. 
your assist was so like I I had so many scripts for like almost everything. Like also there was at one point when you had more than 180 decks, I think you could instantly heal with bandages. I don't know if you guys remember, it was fucking OP as fuck. So what I did is I wrote a script that if uh, if a player next to you in the same guild dropped below a certain amount and you have 180 decks, you insta-heal them. So we were literally running past each other and if a Dexter was running past a mage, insta-full HP. It was really like and, 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 and I gave the script to my entire guild and all the Dexters with 180 Dex, they were literally like, they, they could fight and they don't even have to look. And when there is a player next to them that was low, bam, full HP, full HP. It was so OP. Because it was not like with World of Warcraft where you have cooldowns. There is no cooldowns with Ultima Online. So as fast as you can script, as fast as you attack. So, 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 Imagine that. Imagine how, how much of a monster you can be. Yeah. It was, it was so fun. There's a lot of people that are going to say the most fun they've had in their life was Ulti Ultima Online. There's a lot of people that will tell you. Older boomers. Will tell you that they would say there is nothing that people cannot even understand how the experience it was it was the most surreal experience in gaming because there was no mmos it didn't exist yet like even games online and stuff didn't exist and then you suddenly play with other players in one world and it's fucking harsh as fuck fully skill penalty for dying like crazy it was amazing the thrill was insane there was no noobs. When you were a noob, you were done. It's... Yes, the most intense, like, really, yeah. Yeah, you can't make clips. I removed clips. Just in case. I remember when I placed my castle in Ultima Online. That was also fucking... I was so happy when I did that. I was on Europe. Europe. I was 18, I think. 18. You could be a noob and have a quick recall macro as soon as you see a red name. Yeah. Either way, ranting about the past. Good old times, guys. Good old times. Ultima Online. That time was the best. From then it went just downhill. I remember, what I remember, right, is that people in Ultima Online, when WoW blew up, they said, like, man, Athene will just be a chicken in, in WoW. And then I went into WoW and I literally beat everyone in duels. Like, literally everyone. I was a fucking paladin. Like, I did more than a thousand duels and I never lost. It's crazy. Every single game I played... Now. now look at the game I made. An earn game. 